guys welcome back to enigma reviews i hope you're all doing well i hope you enjoyed um my lashing haul that i did i did say there was going to be a part two so today it's going to be part two of sheen 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 however we all say it everybody says it differently from what i can say um so yeah guys this is ridiculous um there was a dress that i wanted but there was two dresses I wanted. So the one I wanted first was a leather dress. My husband gave me some money and said, get a few bits from, from Shane, Shane. <laughs> so I did and I, I bought them. And then I showed my mum a couple of these velvet dresses and I said, what do you think? Because I was thinking of buying one in my next order. And my mum said, it, it's beautiful. She says, well, why don't you just get it now? And I said, well, I don't get paid for another couple of weeks. Bladder, bladder, bladder. Anyway, my mum said, why don't you get it? I'll give you the money. I'll put it in your PayPal. I'm like, no, it's all right, mum. It's all right. I says, oh, if, if you get it, I'll, I'll pay you back. And she went, no, no, it's all right. Just treat yourself. So I ended up getting three lots of it. What was on my wish list. I, I, nobody else is going to complete my wish list. So I might as well just complete it myself. Um, I know not everybody likes this brand for the obvious reasons, but... For me, it's cheap and cheerful. I have got a Killstar video coming up and the difference between what I got from Killstar and what I've got from Shein, price difference, they probably were the same at price, one of the orders, as my Killstar and I've only got a couple of items. So for me, you know, I get more for my money when it comes to Shein. And some things are hit and miss, so I grant you that. So let's get straight in guys, because it's a massive one. This is going to be accessories. So, let's get stuck in guys, because we're going to be here all day otherwise. So, um, I'm just going to go into the accessories because I have a fair idea of how much they all were. So, they were sent in a bag like this and Bearing in mind guys, things, these haven't all come in one go, I didn't buy all these in one go, so before you go, oh god, how much did you spend on all that? I didn't do this in one go, I did it in three different orders, three different payments, three different times. So, and I've, I've waited all this time to jump into this guys, so I'm super excited to open it up, have a look at it and see if it fits. So, big try on at the end guys. First things first, I picked up some nails because I was looking at the nails and some of them were really, really pretty. Um, and as you know, I, I'm a biter, but every now and again, I like to put my nails on and, and let them grow a little bit. So I got a few boxes of these. So these are called the Pretty Secrets Designer Nails, the 24 self-adhesive nail tabs and a nail file in here. But I use glue because I don't like self-adhesive. They don't last on my nails. So I do use nail glue so i got these black star ones and then i got the um night stars night sky so i got two of them then i bought these ones this is a different one um this is beautiful nail but look at them nails guys they're a black and blue ombre but i just i like the length of them as well i'm not really one for long nails but i will just put them on and leave them as that them ones that I just showed you, the long ones, were £1.20, was £1.49. And then they were all about £1.20, £2, £1.00, £2. Really super inexpensive. I also got a nail cutter, guys, because my last one broke. Um, I use these for when I'm doing gel nails, but I don't do gel nails anymore. But I do like to use the cutter for cutting these nails down if they're too long. These should have been £1.49. I paid £1.20. They're just called edge cutters. Really, really good. They, I think they use these to clip dogs' toenails and cats, if, I'm, if I remember lightly. I do remember this kind of object you use for cutting their nails, but I use it for, for these. So I grabbed another box, guys, from this brand, which was the long ones, and I just like the way these looked as well. £1.20, yeah, £1.20. The design on these are really pretty. So they've got purple and like a... A, a normal purple and then a ready purple with a smiley face and checkerboard so i got them as well then i bought some plain black ones again i like i like anything that's plain black 
playing blue, playing purple, playing red. So that was the nails, guys, that I bought. I'm going to tip all these out here. Yeah. These were a pound each and it's two piece. So it came to two pound, guys. Um, I just think these spoons are really cool. So they are literally just skull spoons. Um, they didn't have a choice of colour as, as the other choice. I think they had black, they had gold and they had the silver. So I just got two silver, which were two pound, guys. This was a free gift that I got. I'm not too sure what it is though, guys. It says a sheer letter graphic key case. So I got this free and um, I was just like, um, yeah, right, okay. But I don't know what it is. I still don't know what it is. So if you guys could possibly like, tell me. <laughs> I'm a little bit like, yeah, okay, it's free. I have no idea what it is. Um, moving on, I got some of these 3D bats, guys, because I bought these a few years ago from Amazon. Not as not as 3D as these ones, actually. And I got a black net with it, but I can't find the black net anywhere, which is sounds about right for my house. You know, things just go missing. And... The bats wouldn't we really stick back on the wall. Now I will do a warning with this guys. So I got four packs. So one, two, three, four. And I think there is how many in each? I think there was 25 or something. Oh, 16 in each bag. So as you can see, that's what they look like. Everybody, well, everybody who's darkly inclined or a goth or gothically inclined will have these somewhere in their house. <laughs> So I want these to put on that wall because I'm still trying to finish this wall off, guys. I'm having a break at the minute from it. So I will finish that off. Um, but it comes with a warning, guys. You see the little adhesive sticker that it comes on? When you stick that to your wall, it does peel off the paintwork, guys. So just be warned, if you have them on your wall, when you peel them off, they will take the paintwork off. That's the only downside to them, guys. But there's no other way of sticking them on you all. But, yeah, these are super inexpensive. 40p each. They should have been 50p each. So, four bags of them. Happy days. Then I got myself a pop socket because I'm forever... I used to have a pop socket on my phone with a really nice cover, but it broke. So, I thought I've just got a plain black cover on my phone. So, I just wanted something pretty plain with a little bit of bling so i just got this pop socket i like the hologram packet that it comes in this was 60p should have been 75p totally inexpensive um could i get in it yeah let's have a look so obviously you peel back the sticky tape stick it to your phone oh okay and then there's your pop socket Super, super duper, super cheap, super easy. I just wanted a few accessories, guys. I do like some of Shane's accessories for the price. Um, half the stuff you buy anyway from other places are all made in China, so why not buy it from China? So then I wanted to get another hair clip because I've lost my old faithful one. It's a rhinestone deco hair claw. Should have been $2.99, I paid £2.40. And it is proper... It's a solid one, guys. It's not like plastic, it is steel. And it's got all these beautiful gems on them, which like the mystic gem. And it looks like a butterfly design at the top. And then there's your teeth on them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, good grips on that. That would definitely work for my hair. So yeah. I just grabbed it because I thought it was completely inexpensive. Right, as you know, I had the tattoos on update guys the feet tattoo lasted three weeks now that was then before i've not had them on for two weeks now i'm going into my third week of having the tattoo of wolf on my leg and the floral on my bottom of my shin i've had a bath and i've had a wash had a shave even they're still on they're still perfect the shines come off them but they are still intact so I'm really impressed by this. So I thought I'm getting my chest tattooed soon, guys. And I'm a little bit a little bit like this, whether it's gonna suit it or not. So I bought this just to try it out and see what it looks like. Cause I may just have something like this done. 
and then get my I'm not too sure I'm still deciding but this was completely inexpensive as well guys I think it was about a pound like the last time it was guys um, and then I got a book of them which are really neat they've got all this mad designs on there um, I just I just seen some of these designs and I thought they're nice to put on like your toes or your fingers or your ankles I think there's about maybe five or six sheets of different ones guys behind them can you hear the birdie it's our baby one it sits at the top here it lives underneath so that's them guys when i refer to that order i will get all the prices for that one i also bought this patterns here um my brother's a tattooist guys he owns two tattoo shops one in Baycott, one in rochdale um he's even won an a, a, the queen's award for one of the cleanest um tattoo shops in the north he was very proud of that he's very proud of his tattoo shops i got two of these i don't know what i was thinking i must have just totally forgot that i'd already ordered it on the other order so i'm gonna give one to um aisha to try because she wants to try these out uh they were a pound it might mean 70p actually guys and then i bought a sheet of butterfly ones to put on my ankles and stuff so it's a 10 piece moon and star decor ring set should have been 149 i paid one pound 20. i absolutely love toe rings and the toe rings that i got from shane um, the first time, the second time I ordered, are really, really good. A couple of them started to discolour because I've been wearing them all the time. But yeah, they're just all moon and star rings. Um, I can never find rings to fit my little fingers. But yeah, these are these are cool. But I have got quite big fingers, guys. So I don't think I'm going to get a majority of these on. I'm going, let's see. Oh, not fasten that one on. I won't get it off. Maybe it can sit in my mid finger. Because I have a lot, a lot, a lot of rings, guys. And I mean, a lot of rings. I mean, real rings, not like fake, like these are fake rings. A lot of my rings are all real rings. But these are quite cute. Look at that. Little... They're, um, I don't know what material they are, but I can imagine that they probably would irritate me if I left them on my fingers for too long. But yeah, this gives you an indication of what they look like, apart from my own rings. But yeah, they're really good and they were a 10 piece set. Um, if you dress them up properly, they look really, really nice. I do like anything moon and star. Um, I do have moon and star headdresses, belts, clothes, you name it. I have it. So that was that guys, that was them rings. I won't put them back in the bag because I'm going to use them. But I also got some toe rings. Now I think the toe rings are going to be on a different order. Yep, so we'll come back to that one guys. I'm trying to do it in order. So this is the order that arrived today. So I thought I'd get this done first. I ordered this ring because it looked really, really pretty. And I was like, oh, I like that. It's a wing decor ring. Um, It was 99p and I paid 80p. Like I said, completely inexpensive. Um, packaging's not special, it's just plain packaging. You don't get a pouch or anything like that. Why does nothing ever fit this goddamn finger? I always buy him for this finger, sorry guys, but nothing ever fits it. So it's going to go on that finger. But how pretty is that, guys? I'm not too sure if this one's actually a stainless steel one because it seems a lot sturdier than the other rings, but... I wouldn't like to think that you could wear this long term, but it's very, very pretty. Oh, I do like that. I do like that, but I'm going to put it off there. So that was that. Again, completely inexpensive. And then I seen this set and I thought, oh, I like that. So again, just for dress costume jewelry. Right. So I seen this and I thought, oh, that looks cute. Upon opening it, you can tell it is, it's, it's not as, as quality as I would get from, let's say, Chains and Charms or Dewey and Jangles, um, DMC Designs, any of them, which is Brew Crafts, Alternative Finch. Although they're all small independent businesses, a lot of them do actually use proper stainless steel jewellery or silver jewellery now. So this, I spotted it and I thought, oh, that's pretty. It was £1.60 and it's a Halloween bat charm necklace. It should have been £1.99, guys. It is very, very dainty. And it has these little black spinel gems, but with a little bat on this black cameo style necklace. 
it don't feel very heavy which tells you that it is literally dress jewelry and then the earrings to match are just them dropping ones to match them i just they seem heavier than the necklace guys they were one pound sixty as well should have been one ninety nine but i'm happy with them do you know it's just to add a little bit here and there moving on guys because i think that might have been the last of my accessories on that order but i do have two items to go back on we're going to come to this first so this is a 20 piece heart decor tour ring should have been 1.99 guys I paid one pound 59 um just more tour rings to add to the countless amount of tour rings i've already got but basically this is what they look like they've got the little opening so you can see that you can open them to get them around your toe there's a little wishbone there um a little crown a little band one there a little love heart one one that just says oh love all them guys so you get quite a lot um i'm happy with that i keep my toe ring separate from my ring so i don't get confused so i'm just going to put them there right moving on okay so i picked up these two rhinestone head hand hair clips so they're actually gold i don't really do gold but they're all like blinging the nails are actually painted red on one and black on the other which is kind of ideal because i've got black and red hair so i just got them and like for £1.59 i thought that's not bad um i'm not going to put them in now because i've already got something in my head which is from last sheen haul um but yeah i was i'm impressed with them i was really impressed with them moving on to this next piece i do like head pieces guys um i bought one recently from killstan i'm not showing it on my channel i can't figure it out i can't figure out how it goes on my head and it's it's kind of bugged me a little bit oh no one of the gems has fallen off just this rhinestone headpiece that just goes at the front of your head and just sits down like that i use these for my cosplay on tiktok um my shield maiden i just kind of use things like this for that completely inexpensive it was two pound 38 and should have been three pound guys apart from that gem which seems to have stuck back in now it's all right it's pretty I like the colours on it. They had them in two different colours, I think, as well. Plain silver with mystic gem, or it was that mixed colour. So I went for the mixed colour. Right, let's get these accessories out of the way so we can move on. Right, I got a nose ring, guys. I didn't think it would be this small, but it'll still do. Um, so this is a, a nose ring, and it was £1.19. Should have been £1.50. As you can see, it's very, very tiny. So it's a tiny little ring with diamantes on, and I think it's just one of them that you pull open. Yeah, so it just pulls open, slot it in, close it up. So the chest tattoo, the long one, 65p. The butterflies is 65p. Um, where's the books ones? Oh, the lotus ones, 49p. The two sheets of flower ones were 97p, guys. I also got a rhinestone happy birthday, 18th birthday for my daughter, which is in her box, which is very, very pretty, and I paid 198 for that. So this is a moon, and then obviously the gem inside is blue. There is one that goes green as well, but I picked the blue ones because they just stand out a bit more. And it's on a nice silver chain, this one, guys. Um... I did want this because I want to try and get a lot of moon necklaces to match outfits and dresses that I've got with moon on. Let's start with the clothing, guys, and we'll see how far we get with it because while we're on this, we'll just do it. I'm going to stick to this order here, guys. So my first item is a Galaxy Print Ruffle Hem Cami Dress Night Dress. I got an XL, guys. It should have been, I don't know, because of my eyes... Should have been $8.99. I paid £5.76, guys. All the orders that I got from Shein, either got, I got 50% off or I got 30% off or I got 20% off. But I got money off regardless. And my points because I review everything and I put pictures on. So 
I don't pay that much really guys I take out the payment in three so I pay in three installments I've already paid my second installment on these so technically I'm just opening them now and I've only got one more payment to make on them all and then happy days um it's it's that it's that nice material actually I kind of like this that stretchy material like swimsuit material I don't mind this I do have some dramas in this material I think they're great for summertime rather than the winter time so I do have summer pajamas but I wanted a couple of night dresses so I thought that's quite nice it's quite pretty um, and it's just a cami style one it's quite long by the looks of it guys and it has this ruffle hem to it and I got an XL no foul smell or anything yeah I like it it's just it's just plain I think the straight goes at the back yeah, and the, that comes at the front I think yeah lovely I'm impressed by that I'm happy with that guys I will just put my clothes in here I'll do the try on either tomorrow or later on tonight do, right moving on um where we're we moving to let's like right moving on to the next one now there is a two-piece set this but I ordered the, the the night dress first and then I ordered the nightgown afterwards but I'm glad I did and I hope the nightgown is the same material they all come in the sheen bags some haven't but that's all right it don't bother me this is a plus lace trim backed print cami night dress I got a 1xl I should have been 10.99 I paid £7.4 guys lots of good reviews on all of this stuff guys if there's anything that's really bad i won't buy it but all of them had really good reviews i got to see what people look like with their items on and i was like happy days so i had to have this as you know i do love spooky night dresses and pajamas all my night dresses are based around gothic alternative my jammers are not but i've got a lot of geeky jammers like harry potter but I had to have this. Now it's got adjustable straps at the back, which I'm glad because that may be a bit too low, low cut. Um, I do actually wear support bra in bed because I'm, I'm top heavy. So I do wear support bra. I may not wear one with this, but I will adjust the straps. It's just, it's like a, it is polyester. It's not that scratchy polyester though, guys. It feels very, very nice. Um... Yeah, 95% polyester and it's got elastane in it as well because it's quite stretchy. So that was that, guys. It's really just a plain. It's got a little bit of lace trim at the front and adjustable straps. I'm, I'm glad it's got adjustable straps as that one doesn't, but this one does. But I like it. It's very light, not too thick. It's not sheer either, guys. So I'm happy about that. Not sheer at all. So yeah, win-win. I'm happy with that. By the way, guys, this top from Killstar, I didn't realise that it had thumb certs. Well, I do now, but the thumb certs, they do kind of, can you see? They're quite tight and they are hurting me a little bit. So, yeah, I may I may take them off the thumb certs for a bit because my, my inner finger's hurting. Right, I think this misses the top. If not, I'm sorry, I'll have to find it later on. But I think this is the mock neck puff sleeve top. I got an XL. Should have been £7.50. I paid £3.53. Like I said, really good prices because I got a lot of money off. Yes, it is that top. So I just seen this and I just thought that would go real, really nice with either a nice pair of black leather trousers or a leather skirt or just black trousers in general. And I just thought, yeah, it's pretty. I like that and it's a high neck because you know I do like a good high neck and it's a puff sleeve I've not tried any of these on the material is quite nice actually guys to be honest with you they've got two little buttons at the back I think I think one of these came with spur buttons and I've put them aside which I thought was really good as well um I don't even need to look at the material guys I can tell you it's polyester straight away and spandex but yeah oh very pretty so i will be trying all these on guys without a doubt let's put that there um moving on i'm just guessing here guys because they've all been mum mumble jumbled up right now i'm not gonna like these guys because i've had a feel of them already and i'm not gonna like them but i do have some of this material trousers from boohoo and i haven't worn them yet but we'll see hmm. it goes through me the material right 
Good old shell suit material, guys. Yeah, I didn't realise these were going to be that material. I thought they were... Can you hear? I thought they were going to be more like just you playing polyester or like jogging trousers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go through me. Now, these are drawstring, waist, letter and cartoon graphic wind joggers. Now... I paid £7.4, they should have been £10.99 guys, I got an XL and I just love the design of these, I just thought they were very funky, they look really good with um, my high tops and stuff, a bit wacky, they've got this ruched elast elasticated, um, what are they called, ankle not cuff, the cuff's here, isn't it? And the waistband's elasticated, but it has a pull string in the middle as well. These are polyester through and through with a bit of shell. I think this will be polyester and shell material. Now, I'm going to put these here because I'll need to refer back to these for a reason when I get to the other one. So I'm just going to take my hands out of that for a bit, guys. It really is hurting my finger. Right, moving on. Oh, where am I going to find this now? This is going to be really difficult right here. So this one cost me £11.20, but it was £17.49. It's a plus plaid lace-up hanky hem dress. I got a 1XL, guys. Ow, sorry if my neck's just cracked. Sorry, guys. Uh -uh. That was painful. That's painful. <laughs> Welcome to the world of spondylosis. I like this dress. I like the material of it as well. Despite it being... No, I like it. I do like it. It feels very, very soft, actually. Um, I like this dress in general. So it ties up here. They had this in different colours, guys. I'm sure they had this in red. But I thought I've got a lot of red clothes as it is. So I fancy green. Because I do like green. I do have green wigs. So I thought, no, nah, I'm going to have green. I like green. I like to... I like to mix it up a bit in my wardrobe i don't like it just being plain black it's, i don't know i like to put a little bit of color into my life as well and wear a little bit of color i don't just wear black guys that's why i don't i don't class myself as being a goth i'm just more alternative because i just i just like certain colors certain spectrum colors so yeah guys so it's got this handkerchief hem it's quite a full bottom which i'm really happy about because i do like full skirts like this and the fact that it's a handkerchief hem as well. So it's got one shoulder strap here and one here. This is going to look amazing on. I can't wait to try this on. It's quite heavy, guys, to be honest with you. And for what? £11.20? I thought I got a really nice, a really nice buy. Now, guys, I don't know if any of these are still going to be there. If they are, I will link them in the description box below like I did on the last Sheen one. Right, moving on again. Let's see if I can find the next one. Yep. So this one, guys, is a lettuce trim striped crop tee because I'm kind of getting into my crop tops and I am trying to lose my belly fat now. I can't lose my baby belly because I've had four children. I've had four £10, £8, £9 babies. So, yeah, it is what it is. Um... I paid £4.81, it should have been £7.49 and I got an XL. So here is that stripe T. So you've got a smaller stripe on this side and a bigger stripe on this side. But I love the cuffs on them. They're like the wide cuffs. And I just think, yeah. And it's a crop T and I think it's got this little like frill design at the bottom. My hair. Um, what would I wear this with? Probably a plain black dress, plain black skirt, trousers, leggings. Yeah, I've got stripy skirts like this from, um, is it called, what's it called, Zara? Yeah, I got it from Zara. Um, and I got that from TK Maxx on sale. Um, so yeah, but this is quite soft material. There's a lot of thread stuck to it, like loose threads, but it's not coming from the actual top. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. There's lots of threads coming off these clothes, guys, because my leggings are just <laughs> covered in thread everywhere. So that was that, guys. Uh, moving on again. I, I've got a thing about plaid. I don't know if you've noticed, checked and plaid. So I seen this and I thought, this will go nice with that blue cold shoulder jumper that I just got from Boohoo. 
like my thinking and i do have a few black and blue tops that will go nice with this i don't have this color but i'm quite happy to i did say i was going to look for an orange i may look for an orange top i think i may have found an orange top actually guys on the halloween section part yeah i think i might just stick that in my basket and get it quickly so this is that guys so this is a tartan bodycon dress i paid 289 guys it's an xl it should have been 4.49 289 for a bloody dress do you know what i mean and i think that's going to look amazing with that blue top i may do the try on with that top underneath although you've already seen that top on a try on just so you can see what it looks like with and without i buy these type of dresses to wear over something i won't i don't think i'll wear them without but if i do i think it still look nice so that was that guys i've got one more order on this now this order is the one that my mum sorted out for me so you can remember that one so this was probably the most expensive dress out of this order so it's an all over floral print ruffle hem velvet dress i've got an extra large and it was should have been 25 pound 49 guys i got it for 16 pound 11. so with the money that my mum gave me i bought other items with it do you see where i'm going and i did add some of my own money to it as well but my mum said oh get the purple because the purple's beautiful the red's beautiful but i have a purple rose dress already not like it but similar to it so that's one of the reasons why i didn't want to get a purple one so i got the black because i thought the black looked beautiful Woo! i love this dress so much it's super heavy guys this is quality i've got to tell you that this is quality the velvet is really nice and soft it doesn't feel cheap like you get cheap velvet dresses maybe on boohoo and so forth um nah this feels really nice it feels quite thick actually now it's got wide um cuffs now if you see any pulls on it like this guys like i, I am seeing the odd pull on it you see i will just get my scissor and just trim that off because things like that really bug me <laughs> and i will just check it and make sure it's not got any more pulls but it's got a high neck as well guys as you can see it is very very long and the hem is like the cuffs beautiful dress guys absolutely stunning it weighs a ton i have to tell you that this was worth every goddamn penny out of that order right guys we're just gonna go with it so i'm gonna move on to my next order um because we've completed that one lace trim velvet crop top should have been should have been probably more than five pound four pound i got it for three pounds 17 i got an xl they did this in red they did this in black they did it in purple i got green because i do own a lot of red i own a lot of purple so i thought i'll go for green i'm changing it up here guys i'm i'm, I'm using a lot of green and a lot of blue a little bit of red I haven't tried this on it looks a little little sheer guys like i can see the ring light through it but i don't know we'll see i won't be able to wear this without a bra regardless guys but i've got a strap like a bra that's got see-through straps i could wear that with it and it's like a crop top bra so it will just match nicely with that one so i got that guys because i just i just liked it and it was really cheap i don't know where i'm going with this lot guys i really don't ah um right yeah i do right them trousers that i've just showed you well i bought the matching top guys i'm getting super thirsty this is gonna be a very long video i'm really sorry really really am sorry um see all the threads coming off it so this is the mock neck graphic print crop tree tree t <laughs> 549 i paid 436 and i got an xl different material this one guys so as the pants are the shell material this is the polyester material that we all know of like the bikini you know like the bikini kind of material it doesn't have or does it have thumb certs let me just look nah i wish they put thumb certs in these tops but yeah that's the top and there's the trousers 
this is definitely polyester guys but it's it's quite a long crop which i'm happy about as that that green top's quite a short crop i'm not a lover of crop tops guys because i've got mum tum but i'm you know i'm starting tiktok's giving me a bit more confidence to love my body regardless of what shape it is you know we are what we are just enjoy it embrace it you know what i mean we only have one body don't waste it and I'm, I'm feeling like you know we're not as beautiful as everybody else you know we're all we're all equally beautiful in one way or another guys what do you say right i'm not too sure if this is the top yeah it is so this one i don't know what made me buy this one guys to be honest with you um but i bought it it's a plus lace up back tee it should have been 9.99 i paid £5.15 i got a 2xl i don't know why i bought a 2xl but I'm glad I did because it doesn't look that big to be honest with you guys so it's a high neck as you can see at the back it laces up at the back so I could open it up which probably is what makes it 2XL because it does open up quite a lot and just normal sleeves not not thumb inserts or anything yeah just a plain I bought a couple of tops like this from Shane the first time I ever ordered from them and you know what they've washed and ironed really nicely so I know we're saying that you know we, we buy from Shein but we're buying crap not everything that you buy from here is crap obviously because you know I'm pretty impressed so far some of the clothes I've bought on everything five pound have been worse and the clothes that I bought from Boohoo and Pretty Little Things have been worse so yeah this one guys is a lettuce trim two-tone top it should have been 4 99 i paid 3 97 i got an extra large in this i bought this top for a reason when i get to the reason i will tell you so i'll put that to the side and it's ribbed guys you know i like a good rib top i'm just going to put that there because you will see the reason behind me buying that right the night dress which was the bat one i did say i got the nightgown to match it now I'm a nightgown queen. I own about 10 night robes. I've got fluffy ones, fair ones, Harry Potter ones, ones with ears. Yeah. So I wanted one based around summer. And this was the whole meaning behind this. Because I put in summer night robe. Just for like a, like a, not like a kimono. Not that thin. But something around about that kind of design. And I spotted this and I was like hell yeah get in my basket and it's short sleeved as well obviously for winter probably not not that good but for the summer months yes baby and there's your strap to go with it i will try it on with a night dress you know looking pretty dapper um i didn't buy any back slippers but i have been looking at some on a website i'm trying to forget about it strange cult i think it is i'm trying to forget about it because There'll be a lot of fees with that so that was that guys and then this is the reason i i ordered oh i've been dying to open this i've been dying to open it before i do black and white top and the kill style ones why i want them ones is because of these and here damn they feel good Woo! Yep, paper, near the print, which is good. Attention to detail, do you know what I mean? Killstar don't do that with their printed t-shirts. They just send them. There's no paper to stop them from sticking to each other. And I know that people have had issues with Killstar with their print before, me included. So it says elastic waisted pocket side graphic print colour block trousers. Should have been £15. I paid £11.48. I got a large. I don't know why I didn't buy an XL. Maybe they didn't have XL and I went with large. That might be why, Rachel. But these are a two-tone black and white tracksuit bottoms. Oh, man, these feel amazing, guys. Really soft. Ooh, yes. It's got that furry stuff inside. I absolutely love these. Wow. I know, um, I think Aisha, the Moon of Stars would probably like these. Now, the waist... Yeah, they will get on me but hopefully they're not too tight around my waistband because i don't like being restricted around my waistband so you've got a sun on that side and obviously the moon on the other so my idea was to have this right 
this or the Killstar one and then I bought black and white boots last not last year two years ago from everything five pound they were identical boots but I got a white pair and I got a black pair with a buckle that clicks in white boot black boot or white boot black boot are you ready for this this should have been 21 pound guys I paid six pound thirty six pound thirty what the hell i seen this and i thought i've got to have it i love pu leather guys i've got a lot of pu leather clothing so i'm i'm not mad at the material of this i will hang it up and let it drop oh yeah i don't know which is the back and which is the front actually no that's the back back on it and then the front is just the slope and it's it's skater style dress oh i love it and then the sleeves are like half half because once I finish my sleeves, which is an ongoing project because I keep having different parts of my body tattooed, so I'm never going to get my arms finished. But I'm going to try and get at least the bottom of my arms finished first before we go to this bit. Talk about that in a different video. Um, and then it's got lace all around the hem. Oh, I love it. So that was that. Now, this is the reason that I jumped on this order. We are coming to the end, guys. I'm really, really sorry this is such a long video. I'll try and make the try on a really quick. Poof, 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 poof. If, if that's what you want, just so we're not wasting too much time dilly dallying about. So, this is the reason that I did this order in the first place. So, Ben bought me this. This is some of this Ben bought. So, this is the plus PU leather cami dress without t shirt. If you remember in my last haul, I bought a white roll neck tee. It was to go under this. And if you also remember, it was too tight. So I will probably wear the other white one that I got, actually. Uh, this should have been $22.49. I paid $17.65. I got a 0XL. These are selling out amazingly fast. I will not be surprised, guys, if this is gone by now. But damn, I love this dress so much. I've been eyeing this dress up for two... Is it, is it two months or three months? two three months guys it does have a slight fishy smell to this one i will admit but Ooh. i'm gonna spray it down with my um fabric stuff and give it a good old wipe and and let it hang up and this the fish smell will disappear guys i do know because i had had this issue before so here's the front it is a very long swing pu leather dress I am so excited to get this on me. I can't wait to get this on me, guys. It's quite high high bust, so it comes under the bust and then it flares out. So I don't know if I bother wearing a belt belt with this, but a nice chain belt may look nice with this. See where I'm going? It does smell fishy, guys, though. Um, it's nice. The, the reviews on this were fantastic. People were saying they went back to buy another one. They they were so impressed by it. And the straps are just plain straps. Oh, get in! They're adjustable straps as well. Fantastic. I am super excited. And that is super heavy. Is that it? Right, there's one more thing from this order. And that's this little thing here. So as you know, I got mum tum. I've had... I've had four children, but I've been pregnant five times, but yeah. So I've carried five children, so I've got four. And I've seen these, and I have, I have got a proper pair of these that I got from Marks and Spencer's, and they cost me £35. And I they pull all the way up, and they tuck underneath my bra, and I absolutely love them, and they hold your bum up, they pull your stomach down. 10 out of 10. Now, these are high-waisted, seamless shapewear panties. Um, one size I paid 2 78 and these should have been a £3.49. I thought it said £8.49, but I don't remember them being that size. Now, these are XL, yes. Oh no, they're one size, but they stretch. That's the whole point that they stretch because they will then expand you in and then they pull up. And they've got a breathable at the front so you can breathe and it's not too sweaty around there so it's quite yeah can you see it's quite breathable here 
I did read that and there's parts here as well that do that. Oh. No guys, you <laughs> I, will... <laughs> I will try these on underneath my clothing, but I will not be showing you these as they are. I am not confident to get myself out in just wearing pantyhose. Oh no. No, no, no. These are plus plaid pinny four jumpsuit trousers without t-shirt, 1XL. Should have been, should have been, should have been 1349. I paid 1067. So yeah, I love these. So just trouser like pinny four style. And they've got a button insert in there. And I think these will fit beautifully. Now you can wear this with this that I'm wearing. You know, this is gonna go with so much stuff. And I mean countless amount of stuff, black and white. So that was that guys. I'm doing it quickly because we need to get through this um pretty quick. Plus all over floral print uh, jumpsuit should have been £17. I paid £13.59. I got a 1XL in this. When this came and I seen the flowers, I was like, what the heck's that? I don't I don't buy anything floral. Crisscross it over, guys. And tie it. They tie so you can crisscross it if you want. And it's this elast elasticated front bit here, which I'm happy about. And it's quite a wide leg jumpsuit i love jumpsuits i own about 12 already now i wanted this in red originally guys red sold out within the hour the black got lots of long black skirts that flow out i didn't need any more black so i thought let's go for green because i've got that green belly top which you've seen already and not front zip back flare skirt i got it in an xl i should have got it in a zero xl or a one xl they didn't have it in the X size, probably why I went for this one. $16.99, I paid $13.59. I love this skirt so much. It is beautiful. It's kind of like the skirt that I had made for Moon Maiden for the alternative competition that, you know, I was persuaded to do. I never did. But um, yeah, it's got these really thick straps that you can tie at the front and you can tie it in a bow and it looks so pretty and at the front they've got splits where's the split yeah they've got splits at the front here which i think is really pretty as well and imagine that this is quite easy to iron because it is polyester material the only problem i've got guys i'm gonna call you zach then <laughs> the only problem i've got is I can only zip it up to about, about here and then it stops. I can't get it up any further and it's too tight around my midriff. So I grabbed this tee because, well, it's school hands and it's green. I've got lots of black school hand tops. They did this in red and I thought, hey, well, I've got loads of red. Let's go for green. So I did. I went for green. This is a, a school print short sleeve tee. I've got an XL. It should have been, I can't actually read that. I think it says 5.49. Oh, should have been 8.49. I paid £3.60. Bloody bargain. There you go. Just a plain green tee with my, my, my clips in. Last item. And then the stuff here is for another another video sometime. Right, this didn't come in a sheen bag. Um, I don't bought this smell. I can still smell the fishy smell. That will bother my husband that later, so I might have to open the windows, spray it, and let it just let it just sit. Right, these my last clothing item are tape side seam flat pocket velvet trousers should have been 11 pound i paid 5.99 i got an xl so they've got this white line going down they are velvet they've got side pockets like combat style oh these are well nice now hmm so yeah i've got my first oh i've got my first growl with sheen straight but what in the f is the back all about? What? 
What's that? It's all twisted. Do you know what they've done there, guys? I can tell you exactly what they've done there. They've made a right boo-boo of that one. That is a bad boo-boo. That is really bad. And then it's... Look! It's flapping over the back. That should have been up like that. But the elasticated thing stops it. So that's them, guys. That's the last item. I put them there because I don't like them. And um, I'm not happy with that. So... Did they do stitch them up with their eyes closed? What the hell? Anyway, let's go try these on, guys. Accessories, I may not bother trying all them on, guys, because there's too much messing around. But let's do the clothes. I'm, I'll be back later on tonight and I'll do the clothes because I need to iron some of the, the skirts and stuff. But thank you for watching. Stay to the end. See the try on. I'm sorry it's been a long ass video. This is going to be my last sheen, sheen for a while. Guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit that like button if you like this video, because it helps me out and my channel. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.